Chris, for some of us, aromatherapy may be new, but it's actually been around, seems like, forever. How did you get involved in teaching classes and, first of all, studying it? Oh, that's an excellent question. Uh, oh, about 20 years ago, I got in a car accident, and I went to an acupuncturist, and he gave me a book on aromatherapy. Oh. And the book was called, uh, called The Art of Aromatherapy by Robert Tisserand, and I got the pleasure to meet him a few years ago, which was one of my greatest honors in life. And so I, he said, you know, maybe some of these oils will help you therapeutically. So for about three years, I made potions and blends and things for my friends, and then uh, 17 years ago, I opened my own company, Kismet Potions, and I've been doing it ever since, uh -huh. and I love it. And so. you do teach classes all across the country, so I do. evidently people find it interesting to learn more about it. I just did a teleconference before Valentine's Day, and I had 45 people on the teleconference, so they were from all over the uh -huh. U.S., and actually I had a couple from Canada as well. So I'm a member of a couple aromatherapy organizations, uh, AIA, uh, the uh, Alliance of International Aromatherapists, and so I do a lot of things for them mm -hmm. and go to their conferences, and so that's a good way to network and, sure and learn, you know, different things. I'm more on the esoteric side of, of aromatherapy, but there's a lot of aromatherapy being used in hospitals and hospices, and you just would not even believe it. It's mm -hmm. just amazing. Um, but I, like I said, I got more involved in the historical aspects and the perfumery. Uh, well, I just and you're love going that. to actually create a perfume we are. for us. So what do yeah. we start with? Uh, so what we're going to start with is in this little bottle here. You can use any size bottle. This happens to be a third of an ounce. And this is going to be a 15% solution. And so that means an eau de parfum. Okay? Um, a parfum is about 25%. And what that means is... 15% um, of the essential oils to the base. Mm -hmm. And the base is 190 proof uh, organic grape alcohol. So depending on your skin type and the climate, it might take up to five minutes before you actually smell the oils and not smell just the alcohol. So uh -huh. I'll have you smell the alcohol right away and just so you see, but it's a, a wonderful base to use for, um, uh, for perfumery mm -hmm. because it's just amazing. And jojoba, is also another one because it's a liquid wax and it, and it won't go rancid. So I like to start with the base notes first. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk a little bit about what, what base notes are. So base notes uh, in French is note du bas. And usually they're the stabilizing fixatives that actually help hold the fragrance on your skin. Because unlike synthetics, these are not going to last for years. Uh, if you've ever smelled like a coat of someone that maybe let's say you had a relative that passed and you know, you smelled the coat, and you're like, oh, that smells like grandma. She wore mm -hmm. Shalimar or whatever. So mm -hmm. that'll stay on there for years. But uh, essential oils kind of meld into your body because they're natural, so it's going to oh. be very different. Mm -hmm. uh, so stabilizing fixatives, um, so that would be like musk and civet and something called ambergris. Those aren't used anymore because uh, they're just too hard to get, and sometimes you have to kill the animals to use them. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to do that. So a lot of times um, they'll do synthetic musk, but I don't work with any synthetics. All the oils I work with are organic, wild harvested, or non-sprayed. So the citrus, that means there's no pesticides used. Mm. So cardamom is one of my absolute favorites. Um, this is cardamom essential oil, so we're going to do five of those. And we okay. cook with cardamom, too. We're going to cook with cardamom. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is an excellent one to cook with. I was mm -hmm. brought up um, Scandinavian. My uh, mom is Norwegian, and my father is, mm -hmm. is uh, Swedish. And so cardamom was something that we had in our house all mm -hmm. the time. So cardamom is, is just, yeah, mm, just yummy, mm -hmm. uh, very nice, very wonderful. And it's um, real nice and spicy. It's a, a wonderful note to add. Now, this is sandalwood. Sandalwood. And when you make a perfumery like this mm -hmm, versus mm -hmm. just a blend, say, of essential oils that you might use for skin care, sure, sure. Um, you don't start with the alcohol in the skin care products. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah, but that would be too dry. Uh -huh. Yeah, that That's would be too dry. Yep. Now, this, uh, the sandalwood, uh -huh. we're going to add nine drops of that. And so that's an, a really nice base mm -hmm. note. And you can see how interesting it is when the... Uh, that looks thicker, too, than the Yeah, it's than very the thick. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's uh, very, very moisturizing in, in skin care, um, but it's really nice. Okay. So this one takes a little bit of time to, to come out. So yes. <laughs> that's the sandalwood. Oh, nine. Okay. Uh -huh. Yep, nine drops of that. And then we've got something called Stravitz, and let's see if that's ready, because that one actually, is, uh, it needs to be heated up, so we uh -huh. have a little... A little coffee mug warmer on there, so we're going to do four drops of the Stravitz. 
That's actually from Bulgaria. And you know that might not be ready, so I'm going to put it on its side. Oh. And but should we do that with the vanilla too? Uh, you know what? Um, let me let me look here and see. Actually, that one looks ready, but you can kind okay. of take a little whiff of, of that. And then jasmine, which is one of the most incredible perfume ingredients mm -hmm. of all time. We're going to do uh, six drops of that. And this is, uh, this is jasmine sambach, actually. And you can see how it kind of looks so pretty, but it's a little bit cloudy in it there. It starts giving it the color that we yeah. sort of associate with. Uh, and then black perfumes. pepper. Uh, black pepper is used pepper a lot. Pepper perfume? I know. Interesting. So we're mm -hmm. only going to use about three drops of that. And you can or smell it all the way from here. This would probably be like I cook. I turn it upside down and then whatever amount <laughs> exactly. goes in, that's how much I'm in You know, to sometimes put in there. it's like, okay, I guess it was meant to be. So this <laughs> one is Petit Grand Souffle. Now this is just an amazing, amazing oil. Um, this is the co-distillate of the orange leaves and then of uh, the flowers, mm -hmm. the neroli flowers. And we're going to mm -hmm. do new. Uh, nine of that. So that, the the base notes, the uh, the the base is the stronger ones, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then the top notes are the lighter, and then of course the middle ones are, exactly. are the middle notes. And so does does this is this mm -hmm. reminiscent of neroli to you at all? Which is the orange blossom? Are you familiar with that smell? No, I'm not. Okay, and then 13 drops of the blood orange. Blood orange, just absolutely love it. That does give it a pretty color. Mm -hmm. And so we, I was just about right with the amount that I put mm -hmm. in there. So then, of course, you want to take your finger, you want to shake it up a little bit. And then I will put some on here. And since we're not sure about the, the Stravitz being ready, we're just mm -hmm. going to smell it. But you're going to see that, for the most part, oh, you're going to... Oh, that gonna smells good. I like that. Oh, you can I smell can it smell already. I smell the orange. That's okay. what I smell <clears throat> primarily. And so the alcohol has not dissipated yet. So like I said, we're going to need to wait... Um, a few minutes, but once we, if we can actually add the Stravitz, mm -hmm. um, it'll be, um, you know, a little bit earthier mm -hmm. and spicier, and you smell that, and, um, you know, you smelled it in the, let me see if we can even put a little bit on one of the sticks here, and it's got a really beautiful kind of earthy, uh, nice sort of smell uh -huh. to it as well. But so that one, uh, there's a lot of oils, not a lot, but there's a few oils that need to actually be heated up, um, like Rose Otto, the Stadavit, some geraniums, vanilla, cocoa bean, things like mm -hmm. that. So, Well, this is really interesting, and, and it, it's nice to know why some of them require more of one mm -hmm. fragrance, let's say, but the combination's what's really beautiful. Yes. Well, thank you very much for being you with us, Chris. Welcome. You're welcome.